All right, give this a second to pick back up. Turn on some music. Okay. <clears throat> so, um, what I want to work on now that we fix all the um, warnings, right? Non push, ch um, non commit the changes. Okay. Now that we have fixed all the warnings, what I want to work on is the animation. So, what I've got. Um, are a few sprites. Maybe we could take a look at these first. So if we check this out here and then go to assets and then we've got for example the running animation which is what we're going to um, repeat over and over as our correct character is running. Right, so what we need to do is we need to slice this sprite set into small images and then animate them. Okay, so what we're going to do for that is, as first we're going to load um, the image. Right, so, um, yeah, I need to use a proper naming scheme for this. But this still works for now. Okay, and so what we want to do is we want to use the running PNG, I believe. Let's shake a look really quickly. Um, ls dot dot slash assets, I think, and it's running underscore animation dot PNG underscore animation. All right. Um, running animation. Right. So, um, we also need to add that here. So let's just say running underscore animation. Like I said, the naming is not really important right now. <coughs> I'm sorry. Um, so, how do we do this now? I think what we need to do is we need to record. Well, actually, let's just play the animation. Uh, let's not care about whether the play is running or not. Let's just play the animation for now. All right. And so that's what we we need to do inside draw player. Um, what we're going to do no, is no longer just pass in the sprite one. And instead, we need to pass in the right anim like frame. So something like an animation. No, let's just say a sprite, uh, player sprite. Let's say we need the player sprite, right? And that needs to be something. Um, well, how do we do that actually? Because what we want to do is actually cut out a piece of the animation uh, of the of the sprite. Um, so let's maybe just try to do this here for now. All right. So what if we do draw image? And I think there's a draw image full, and that's the one we're interested in. Uh, full. Right, that's the one we're interested in. And now it's giving us a type error, but I wanted to see how that's defined. And there's a, no documentation, unfortunately. But these four numbers, one is the source rectangle, and the second one is the um, target rectangle, basically. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to start we're going to just predict that this is the source rectangle. So we do 0 0.0, 0 0.0, because we start... Yeah, let's think about this for a second. So how big is this? This is 1,200 times 150, and it's 8 images, I believe. So what's 1,000 divided by 8? Is that 150? just going to say this. So what we'd expect here is 150 and 150. 
I mean, if it's wrong, we're still gonna uh, see that that is the case. <clears throat> so, what's the problem now? We passed in a context to do to the an image source, and then we passed in one number, two numbers, three numbers, four numbers. We need to pass in eight numbers. Um, yeah, so we need to pass in two more zeros here. I think. Uh, or do we? Now I think this scales, so we need to do 150 and 150 here as well. Okay. And I think what we need to do is make this the x. Oh wait, no, never mind. We don't need to do that. Okay, so let's see what this does. Uh, this does nothing. Nothing. So let's look at how draw image full is actually implemented. Um, so what we're looking for is the canvas.js file, and then we search for draw image full. There we go. So that's source x, source y, width, height, destination x, y, width, height. I think that looks fine to me. Right. Oh, I think I... Do I have an idea? Maybe not. Maybe I do. So let's use a... <clears throat> let's use the... What did I call it again? Player... Running animation? Yeah. Okay, so that doesn't seem to work. Hmm. How does that work again? Let's take a look at this. Draw image. Where is the call to draw image? Which source x, source y, source width, source height. Yeah, so I think this looks fine. But it doesn't seem to work. Um, so maybe we should remove the call to clear uh, clean canvas. Let's just see if maybe uh, the update is just too slow or something. No, we're just not seeing anything. Or is it too tiny or something? No, I'm just not seeing anything. Maybe we get an error. Let's look. Let's check if we're looking at, at any errors. So that seems like an error. Not found, running animation, yeah. Maybe I should have looked here right away. <clears throat> so what was it called again? It's running, oh, there's a space in there, that's terrible. Let's call it running animation. And do this again. So. And that's a, uh, well, I mean, I think that, that kind of worked actually. Let's put the clean canvas back in. And yeah, so that's one P, like that's one frame. Now we want this to cycle through. So we'll um, have something like an animation timer. Uh, let's say that that is a number. And so now let's think about this for a second. 
I guess we'll just have to, um, <clears throat> we'll just have a little um, parameter here where we say animation speed and we're going to look at uh, how fast we actually want this to go. We'll start out at 10, let's say. And so let's just say we've got a little, um, uh, let's write a little helper method which is increase animation timer. Uh, let's say step animation timer. All right, and what this does is it takes a game state and then what it's going to do is going to do uh, set the animation timer of that to be equal to the old animation timer plus animation speed. All right, so that that seems fine. And then we can even give this a little. Um, Hmm. Uh, <clears throat> type annotation and say that this steps a game state into a new game state. Oh, okay, so uh, let's turn this one back on actually. Yeah. So this is a number. So what's the error we're looking at right now? Step. This is no longer an initial game state, so we'll say, what's that called? Animation timer, I believe, and we'll start out at 0, 0.0. Now that works. <clears throat> and so what we do here is we'll say, um, modify ref, uh, the ref, and we're going to increase the game state, so uh, the increase the animation timer. What is that called? No, step. I think we call it step. There is step animation timer. Right. Let's just restart the server. Okay, so this should already uh, give us an, a proper little, proper animation time. And now what we want to do, instead of just passing the animation in here, we're going to give this a frame number, something like a frame number. Okay, so this takes an image source, uh, and it also takes a number. And that's going to be a number between 1 and 8. Um, so let's say for now we always pass one for the um, yeah we always pass one for the villain. I think we want to, I want we want to start at zero actually yeah let's do it at zero and what we do here is we say um, um, Game state dot animation timer. And then what we want to do is we divide this thing by but what do we divide this thing actually? Let's put a constant in here. Let's say one hundred. And then what we do is we say modulo, right, mod, I think, and then we say mod 8, because we need values in between 0 and 7, like this maybe, or maybe we want this one. Does this work? Unknown operator, add imports. Okay, let's try mod. I'm not sure if this is going to work. We'll, we'll see. Okay, so um, now we also need to take the sprite number or something. I don't know. Let's just call this x for now. Uh, no. 
Uh, let's just call this N for now. We'll need to think of a proper, uh, proper name for that one. Okay, and now this is the x-coordinate. So what we're going to do is we're going to say N times 150. Right. Now what is this telling me? Uh, number and image, okay. Uh, oh yeah, sorry. Um, just got the arguments the wrong way around. I need to pass this. Right. And then I need to pass 0, 0 0.0 here. And this seems to compile just fine. So let's see what happens here. Nothing. Okay, so maybe it didn't compile just fine. Well, it's telling me that it did. Uh... Oh, maybe because this is, yeah. Um, now we should start playing with this number. Let's see what happens if we put in 15. Okay, nothing. Nothing ever happens. Seven. I think this is about the mod function. If I remember correctly, it had a little strange behavior, so let's look at that. So if we do pull PSCI and we import the prelude, let's see what this gives us. So if I do say 8.0 and then mod <clears throat> well, let's say 3.0 we'd expect to get 5 yeah, it would just doesn't do anything yeah so we always get 0 out of this mod so that's not really helpful um, so let's try to find out if there's a better mod Um, where's this one? I think this is in math, actually. Let's try that one out. So I'll do e shell, and then we'll bower install PSCript math. I mean, mod would work fine if I if I used it with integers. The problem is just that. All the canvas library uh, uses uh, numbers, so I don't want to convert back and forth all the time. Um, so that's kind of the reason, actually. So just need to save this to trigger a rebuild. Now math is unused. Uh, where's mods? There's mods, and instead I want to use percent. And let's just be explicit about where we get that from. There we go. So no more. And you can see that, I mean, something is happening. But I think 1,200 divided by 8 is not 150, apparently. Uh, let's just divide that for a second here. Oh, wait, it is 150. Somehow this is not working correctly. Right. So I expect this to be to be a value between like n should be a value between one uh, zero and seven. But I suppose it's probably not. Maybe we need to round that value actually. Or something. Hmm, no. Do we have something like round? 
Yeah, what's the type of that? Number to number. Okay, so let's apply a round to this. See what happens now. Yeah, so this looks like an animation. It's just a little slow, right? So we could now start playing with the animation speed. Let's try something like 10. Turn this up, 15. Uh, 18. Okay, so I'm still a lot too slow. Let's do something like 25. Okay, I think that's a sensible animation. See what happens if we turn up like ridiculously high. Now this is way too fast. Uh, let's do something like say 29. No, that's actually too fast. 25 seems fine. No, that's still too fast. Um, we should also pull out the player speed into a variable so we can play with that one as well just so that we can get a nicer feel for that. So player speed I think right now that's just one. So let's look for one. Okay now it's not move I think it's move left or something. Right move right and move left. Oh yeah so that's defined in here so let's um, move the player speed into the player module actually. Right. And instead of that, we do player speed. Right. Just like that. And then we turn that up to say 3. See what we got now. Uh, still seems a little slow. Try four, and this looks a lot better now, if you ask me. Well, maybe the animation is a little too slow now. Yeah, well, I'm fine with that. Um, I think we need to do something with a um, uh, drawing, by the way. Um, depending on the direction the player is facing. We still need to do a little translation. Alright. So let's do that right now. Um, because if the direction is um, uh, facing left, so we'll do uh, direction. So okay. So if the player is facing left, what we want to do is we want to translate. Uh, y is just zero. I want to do a little translation. Let's just look at this. If the player is facing left, we want to move him seventy-five to the right. So we'll do seventy-five plus. I think. Um, this is 0, 0, 0.0, and then we're going to do um, kind of the same thing over here, just with a negative value. And if we look at this now, yeah, now we're not getting this weird clipping anymore. You um, should just move the uh, starting position a bit to the right. Let's we'll start at 150. Uh, let's start at 100. And let's start at 200 actually. There we go, that looks better. And now we can move around. Of course, this needs a bit of tuning. Um, but this looks a lot better now. So, I'm quite happy with that. I think I'll leave it at that for now. Um, next time we. Uh, 
should probably introduce the states the player can be in so we can pick the right animation for the state the player is in right now. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time.